Hello and hi everyone. Hey now, it's Saturday. And so that means it's time for Flow Yoga Mob. This is donation-based yoga at Venmo.com slash Cecily dash guest. And I, hello, am Cecily guest. Hey there everybody and welcome to Flow Yoga Mob on this Saturday for us the last Saturday in January. So let's just Om Shanti. Hmm. Hmm. Om Shanti. <laughs> January 2021. Mm. Is the madness over yet? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> so we march on to February, February, which is Black History Month. So yeah, <laughs> holler back Black History Month. Yes, African American History Month. So hopefully you all have some uh, things planned and some recognition post planned to put onto your Facebook pages and onto Instagram. And also, I want to encourage you all to meet up with me on a brand new app called Clubhouse, the Clubhouse drop-in audio app. I am on there. It is fabulous. You find me. I'm Yogi Cecily. Where else can you find me as Yogi Cecily? Also on YouTube. You know, I'm just going to say it right now. I was very bad last weekend, and I didn't do any YouTube uploads. And just say a prayer for me, Om Shanti. I am going to do it this week. I'm going to make myself do it this weekend. You know what I did last weekend instead of YouTube? I did Clubhouse. So <laughs> that is my life. You can't be everywhere all the time. Can you? No, you can't. Where are we right now? We're ready to get on the mat and do some yoga asana, which is what I know that you all are really looking forward to with me. So I want to make sure I keep delivering that. Now, these are social media classes, donation-based classes, and donations can be made, again, at venmo.com slash Cecily dash guest, that's G-U-E-S-T, like a guest in your home. And, but I also do really, really good online classes. I have now many students and private clients finding me on my website, my website, cecilysyogaretreats.com, and I certainly hope to see you there as well. You just jump onto the website and subscribe and that way you can stay in touch with me, okay? Sarai, sarai. Ready to flow yoga, flow asana yoga? Let's do it. I'm gonna come on off of my block and come on down to the mat. And you know what I just wanna start today? I just wanna go into downward facing dog. Let's just get into it right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And many, many students, many classes start with downward facing dog and the oh so familiar pedal pushers. These are pedal pushers, one leg straight, one leg bent, and so you get that going. Now listen carefully. I do not do music in these classes, uh, and so I encourage you, so if you're watching this on your laptop, on your computer, just put some music on your phone or vice versa and get that going so you can listen to the music you want to listen to, music that inspires you, and you can also hear all of the lovely cues. From this downward facing dog, you know I wanna round the upper back a little bit, round your upper back, lean into your hands, lift up onto the balls of your feet, yes, and then take it back, and now we're gonna lift the tailbone and lengthen the back and look forward with your head. Let's start there. So this is a round back, pushing forward this exhale. Send the energy back, lengthen. Lift the tailbone, look forward, inhale, exhale, forward and round, back and arc, inhale, look up. Exhale, forward and round, back. See that tailbone lift and look forward. Let's do this two more. Lift on the balls of the feet and round. See that tailbone lift and send the energy back. Look forward though. And last time, last time, rounding, rounding, rounding. See the shoulders come over the wrists. And lift the tailbone, send it all back, 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 back. And then bend your knees. <laughs> child's pose, let's go back into a child's pose. Push way back. Now I wanna remind you in these child's poses, do yourself a favor. Set your knees wider, set your arms wider, and you will discover the chest coming down. Mm. 
chin down, chest down. Yeah, child's pose. We're gonna look up and take the lion's breath. The hands are gonna slide in. Big arch in the back. You really send the hips back, send the tailbone back, send your perineum back, right? Chest forward, shoulders back, look up, inhale, and slide it out to way down, way down, the low, low, low child's pose. Mm. And up, lion's mouth, you know, our goal here is to arc the back, open the mouth, ah, and child's pose. Inhale, exhale. One more of these, slide the hands back, arch the back, you're gonna take a deep breath, inhale, and then ah, ah, and then out, out, out child's pose all right good come up let's say kind of a twisted child's pose so i'm going to narrow my knee stance a little bit oh the left hand comes onto the left hip a twist towards you i'm going to lie all the way out 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 until the head comes down then use both hands push up and back and so good right hand on your hip left arm goes out oh, melting so sensuous so lovely, melting, 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 melting the armpit and the heart down. Then use your right hand, push up and back. Now I wanna tell you all, we'll do this again. I can't really lay it all the way down because of the microphone, but yes, many people can just get the heart, get your center of your chest all the way down, all the way down, all the way down to the mat. You know, squeeze the other elbow up top. Good, then use the left hand, push up lovingly. Almost going back to that lion's breath position. Yes, so here we are. Sliding out, keep the tailbone lifted, get the heart down to the mat. It's a little twisted child's pose, yeah, and coming up and out. Fantastic, downward facing dog, inhale, exhaling. Five, four, three, two, and one. Watch the left foot, you know, I'm gonna just step the left foot to the left wrist, a straight leg, and back. Did you see that? And the right, right, so hey, hey, it's a straight leg. Touch your wrist and back. Six more, six more. Left, touch and back. And now is right, touch and straight arms, straight legs. And left, touch and you're gonna feel your quadricep. And right, touch and back. Do it again, left leg, breathe, here it is. Touch and back. And a one more time, right leg, right and back. Child's pose, <laughs> inhale, exhale. Love it, love it. So I got a lot of arm work for you here, right out of the bat. Come up to all fours. Mm, the right hand's gonna go out. You're gonna rest on the right knee and then take the left leg up and then back to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Let's do this, you're gonna face away from me. Send your left hand out Spin up, now right now I'm leaving both hands on the ground just for balance and then back. Now we're gonna wash, please wash and repeat that. So right hand, right knee, left leg and back. Mm, left hand, left knee, right leg lift. Yes, yes, and back. And right hand, right knee, left leg lift. Yep, and back, don't lose it, <laughs> don't lose that balance. And left hand, left knee, and lift. Modified side plank, I need four more. Inhale, exhale, lift, high, there it is. Sometimes it just gets better the more you practice it. And twist away from me, twist. Left hand is down, uh, opening, yes, and back. You know, there's a lot of relevance to that. The more you repeat something, the body starts to understand exactly what it is that you're expecting, yes, and it starts to um, mitigate or manage, manage your balance to the floor. Good, and downward facing dog. Come on now, inhale, exhale. Right, oh, oh you love it. I know you do, I love it. Good, let's go uh, twisted downward dog. Twisted downward dog, your right hand's gonna come to the left ankle, high. Oh. See this whole armpit, it's gonna open and you can really twist the ribs. Then we make a plank pose, inhale, and go the other way, twist, twist and downward dog. Exhale, four more, plank is the inhale, twisted dog is the exhale, plank is the inhale, twisted dog 
is the exhale and two more mm -hmm. twist the dog hello and one more mm -hmm. twist the dog yay 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 great walk your hands back to your feet check your tights and leotards <laughs> Make sure all the seams are in place and there's no uh, flesh showing. <laughs> good, good, good. We're going to go to goddess squat. The toes are turned out. The knees are turned out. We're squatting and reaching. Mm -hmm. I hope you all enjoy my sense of humor. I'm just, I'm just, sometimes I'm just here with myself like I don't know what these people think of me. <laughs> Great. You're going to walk out plank. Now see my feet are set kind of wide. I'm going to walk out plank and go back to downward dog and hold. Now I want to start that entire sequence again, starting with the straight leg going to the wrist, yes? So arm straight, leg straight, sure. So it's going to be the left foot, left foot, left wrist is eight and back and seven and back. These are very difficult. Six, if you don't make it to your wrist, don't worry about it. Inhale, exhale, five, breathe. Four, breathe, three, yep, two more, two, yes, yes, and one more, one, and back. Bend the knees to all fours. Hey, look towards me. Right hand, right knee, modified side plank. I'm going to start to spin the arm, bring the elbow to the knee, exhale, and Open downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Love it, live it. All fours. Twist away from me. Your right leg will lift. Then bring the right elbow to the right knee and open. And downward facing dog. Because we love it. Oh, I like this one. Bend your knees to all fours. Right hand, right knee, modified side plank. Spin it open. Inhale, exhale, knee to elbow, cause yes. And then spiral, almost corkscrewing through the air and then downward facing dog. Yes, 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 yes. One more, bend the knees to all fours. Left hand, left knee, there's your modified side plank. Mm -hmm. Reach, knee to elbow. Spiral to open. And downward facing dog, love it. Rotated the twisted dog, right hand to the left ankle high. And plank pose, inhale. We take five more, left hand right, so, and back. You're feeling your triceps. I know you're feeling your upper arm. And uh, I happen to have really love that feeling. I, uh, you know, just that feeling that my arms are really getting some attention, some workout, you know, some strengthening. And the more I, let's do once more each side, the more I can connect with my arms, you know, the more I can connect with my core. There's this wonderful relationship between the upper body and the core. Usually we don't think about that relationship. Yeah, walk your hands back to your feet. Love it. Oh, relax, forward fold. Set your feet out wide. Goddess squatting. Hmm. Hi. Mm. Goddess squatting. Twist towards me, right hand down, left arm up in the goddess squat. Take the left arm behind your back. Mm -hmm. Some of you, your fingertips, you can actually get your fingertips inside, inside the right hip. That's not for everyone, but some folks can do it. And then twist more. Looking up over the left shoulder. Great. We're going to change sides on that. Yeah, we are. Reach forward. Lift up your chest. Mm -hmm. And then twist away from me. You know the left hand's just going to stay out on your mat. The right arm's going to go up. The right arm, many ways to get the arm behind your back. Sometimes I like to cut the angle. I'm going to open up that space between my ribs and my thighs. Yes? So I'm going to open up that space, and then I'm going to... Close it off, hug it off, and twist a little bit more to the right. Good, inhale, exhale, straight legs, forward fold. We will do that one again. 
those uh, wonderful goddess squatting. Walk out to plank, inhaling, and downward dog. Exhale, wonderful, yes? Let's sit back one more time, goddess squat. How does this one work? Now, especially sometimes for the gentlemen, these goddess squats can be quite difficult. Now, other people that your Achilles doesn't allow you to have flat feet, so we just keep working on it, word. We just keep working on it. So right hand down, the left arm up. Yes, now remember how I said there are many ways to get the arm behind your back. So I usually cut the angle, yes, and then I use my own body. I can feel, feel my own body. Feel the fingers go around the lower back. Twist open, three, twist open, two, and one. Yeah, staying in the goddess because we love it so much. Great mobility in the hip socket. Spinning the thigh muscles outward, sure, and then reversing that. Now, you see it's gonna be the right arm that goes up. Not thinking about a binding. I just really wanna get these right fingers Look, I'm going to open up that space and then hug it off and twist, twist, twist. I'm inhaling and exhaling here. Oh, so good. Downward facing dog. All right. That was our opening. That's the opening. So please, please, please from here, you know, you're going to lift your right foot, which means probably you're going to step your left foot a little more to the center. Right leg goes up, not too high. Not too high at all. Today, the right knee, let's bring the right knee in towards the nose as we move forward into plank. And then take it up two more times that way. Look, the knee comes into your nose as you move your body energy forward. I don't always do it that way. So let's take note. So the knee comes in and you're moving your body forward and look at the left calf pushing off with the left calf. That foot goes down, walk your hands back to your feet, set your feet hips width apart, hold on to your elbows and enjoy. Uh, elephant's trunk, you can bend and straighten and move your body all around. Move your body all around. Yes, don't get stuck. Let's go back to downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. Don't get stuck. All right. So the left leg is gonna lift, which means the right foot's gonna to step to the center a little bit. Left leg goes up, not too high, not too high. Let's not get all like I'm super dancing and hot, not too high. Good, let's focus on, are you able to push off with your right foot? Are you able to send your body energy forward as the knee comes to the nose? And then back out again to the nose, to the nose, to the nose, and back. Out, uh, let's do it again. Into the nose, nose, nose. And back out. I don't know how many we did the other side. Let's do one more here. Into the nose. Gotta move that body energy forward. And back, walk your hands back to your feet. Set your feet hips width apart and move. I think a lot of people think about stretching as these just boom, like static position. There is such a thing as static stretching, but uh, let's think about an animal like a cat. Walk out to plank, inhaling, and then child's pose, exhale. You know, you cats are so flexible, you never see them stretching. Yeah. So we have to stretch a lot, seems like. We're gonna come up to all fours. Just kind of keep doing my apparel adjustments. Good, listen, you're gonna be on your left hand, put your right hand on your hip, step, step the right foot forward and bring it back, four more, and four. Look at the lift and the step and bring it back. And three, bring it back. And two, such awesome work in the left hand, keeping you balanced. There's the connection between the arm and the core. Here's one more, and our yoga asana, Arda Hanuman asana. Arda is half, the half monkey pose. Look at the 90 degree angle here. I am not sitting back, right? So this femur bone long and straight. Look at the hands go out past the foot and bow the head down, three, two, one spinning towards me, Parigasana, the gate. Lift up arms in the letter T, go to the left, mm -hmm. and center. Two more times to the left, mm -hmm. and center. One more time to the left, mm -hmm. 
and center. Both arms out wide. It's almost like a child's pose. Push the hips back. Bow your head down. Keep your arms broad and wide. Now look halfway up. Both hands on the right ankle. Twist. Three, two, and one. Look up a bit. Take the right arm up. Take the right fingertips inside the left thigh and twist more. Twist, twist, twist. Now this will be Padigasana to the right. The right hand stands down, rotate up through the ribs and reach and you're working. Your goal is to lengthen the left side, yes? Lengthen the left side. Three, two, one. Downward facing dog facing the left side of the room. Inhale, exhale, hello. That was a lot of work right there, so that's why you want to catch the uh, YouTubes uh, because you can go back. <laughs> you can rewind back a little bit. All right, look, check it out. This is going to be knee to nose without going forward into plank. The right leg's going to lift, so the left foot steps to the center. Look, this is very different. Knee comes to the nose without moving your body energy forward. And up and to the nose, and up, and one more. So to be clear, we're not doing this kind of big motion forward. You wanna just draw it all in, and up. That foot goes down, child's pose, hey, hey, child's pose. We love it, we love it, let's do it. On the left side, yes, 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 inhale, exhale. Mm -hmm. If the left leg is going to lift, you step the right foot to the center line a bit. The left leg goes up not too high. Here's your goal. you got to get it into the nose without moving forward. And up, up, up. So this is the, the tailbone must drop down and the ribs contract and hug in. One more. Without moving forward, I'm practically just standing in the left, in, in the right foot. So I got a nice flat right foot, and then child's pose. Arms burning, yeah. Arms burning, mm, 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 mm. Good, coming up to all fours, hi, hello. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, arms burning? Do you love it though? Gotta love that feeling. Mm -hmm. That's because I'm an old school bodybuilder. Oh. The upper body. <laughs> so the right hand stays down. Look, the left hand goes on your hip. You got to five times balance and get the left foot forward and out and up and back and forward. So lifting, 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 extending and out and up and back. Come on now. Come on now. Three. I believe in you and out. Up, my students know I have to say that all the time. Come on, I believe in you. Two more, two, two, and I'm on the outside, I believe in you. And up, good. See the arms, see the, see the tricep muscles working. Tricep muscles do connect with core, core abdominals, right, to keep it, to hold it together. All right, Ardha Hanumanasana. <sighs> Hamstring stretching. Look at the arms reach out. Right, the upper body is trying to go forward. Three, two, one. Spin towards me. Padigasana, the gate. Lift up, arms in a letter T. Three times, go to the right. Take the gate to the right. One, and up, breathe. Padigasana, the gate. Two, and up, high value pose. High value pose. Why is that? Because look at the range it's, uh, it encompasses. Look what it's really actually asking your body to do. So one side's doing one thing, the other side's doing the other thing, and it's opening your lateral fascia. Then we're gonna go forward, send your hips back, keep your arms broad, bow the head down. Great. Take a breath, lift up a little bit. Take both hands over to the left ankle. Your goal is to twist. Twist, 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 so that the right shoulder and the right ear go down. Mm -hmm. Look up a little bit, and then you're gonna take your left arm up, 
and over and around your back. The fingertips find the inside of the thigh, and then you lay it back down and twist more. Three, can't get enough, can't get enough twisting here. Two, and one, Prasarita Padottanasana. If you do Ashtanga Vinyasa, this is gonna be familiar to you. We're gonna do Prasarita A, B, C, and D. Stand all the way up, arms overhead, inhaling. Mm -hmm. Forward fold, Prasarita A. Prasarita A, reach your arms through. Now, if you don't do Ashtanga Vinyasa, let's say maybe you're a fitness person, especially if you're a personal trainer, I think it'd be very interesting to ponder why is it that Patabi Joyce designed four, four different versions of this pose? Let's come halfway up. I always wiggle in and I sometimes bend my knees to stand all the way back up. Good, let's do that one again. So Prasadita A is reaching the arms through. Here's a tip, if you're super flexible, stand closer together on the first one. Stand closer together because now, now you have a place to reach. You know, if your head hits the floor, you can't reach through. So you notice I'm standing not super wide, I'm really reaching, really trying to get my head on the floor and reaching through. Great. Hands to the front. Let me stand all the way up, inhaling. Now the next two, let's place your hands on your hips. The next two, put your head on the floor for real, without your hands. So this is teaching you that wider, if you go a little bit wider, the greater your chances of getting your head on the floor and you can't use your hands. So we inhale, exhale, just boom, 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 boom. Now you're gonna rock forward, you're gonna think that you're falling, then your head will hit the floor and now you can work on getting the elbows together over your back. Three, two, one fingertips of the floor. We're gonna do that one again. I wiggle in and sometimes bend the knees to come up and hail. Prasari to be. Say, what now? What's the what here? What's the big deal here? Put your head on the floor. Boom! Right down. You think you're falling for a minute, and I think that's the point here. You cannot use your hands. Three to feel, feel that sense of falling. And one, good hands on the floor, maybe wiggle in, stand all the way up right. Oh, this one now, this one. Prasari to see, laced arms over the back. We will do it twice. Let me tell you what this is all about though. This one is about tucking your head and curling in. Now, your head goes on the floor, but it's more than that. You gotta tuck your head through and begin to roll onto the back of your head, right? So you're gonna see people, if you see people have uh, uh, have this pose, they've acquired this pose, more than likely what they have learned is if they want to get the arms over their back more, right? They gotta get their head to the floor sooner so that they can balance and tuck in. Then they rock a little body weight forward and then the arms. Then they start pull, pull, pulling with the arms. Mm -hmm. So you're almost rolling onto the back of your head. I mean, you're really, oh, this feels so good. Tucking in and reaching, reaching the arms. Good. We'll do it again. Look how wide my feet are apart. My nose is almost on the floor. I wiggle in, sometimes bend. Sometimes I bend and relieve a little energy in the knees and stand all the way up again. Inhale, great, hands on your hips. Do you hear what I said? I relieve a little energy in the knees. So. You know, always go, you have these classes, everybody's taking classes online. You know, if you feel certain things, you know, this position really does a uh, challenge, challenge and sort of uh, engages the ligaments, the condyles of the knees, the condyles, outer condyles, inner condyles, prasari to see. I take my arms up, I lace the hands behind my head. Now, I could take my arms off sooner rather than later. I've learned these days as I don't do the arms first, I do the head tucking first, so I feel, oh, I have a client who's really good at this, Spencer's pretty good at this one, and he gets his head tucked in there. Once your head is tucked in, you see, you're actually balancing a little bit on the back of your head, oh, and Cheryl does this really well too, and then the arms can come much, much further to the floor, three, two, so it's not just the arm mobility, right, it's your ability to tuck in. And one, you feel like you're gonna fall, but you won't. All right, let's just do A, B, and C. We kind of don't need D, right on? So let's turn to the right side, lunge. Whoa, oh, 
Okay, feel those hip sockets and downward facing dog. That was worth it. That was worth it. Okay, let's do some of the uh, rotated lizard lunges. Start with your left leg. Left leg's gonna lift, not yet high. Not going high yet. Left foot to the outside of the left hand. Left arm spins up so you can inhale and love it. Check it out. I'm sure that you really want to open your hip sockets, a right side hip socket, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Right leg lifting, right foot stepping, right arm spinning up. Inhale, mm, downward facing dog. Four more. Left leg lifting, left foot stepping. Look at the height. The left foot carries over from the top. Left arm spinning up, inhale, downward dog, yes. Right leg lifting three more times. Step, breathe, rotate, inhale, and downward facing dog. Two more. Left leg, not very high. Look, the height comes before the step. You're working to keep your knee very, very high. And then the step, and then the left arm rotating up. Inhale, downward facing dog, yes. Why, because you love it. <laughs> Right leg lift, not too high, step to the outside. Right arm goes up, inhale, twist. You see, firm, firm the muscles in your upper body. Spin, spin the arm bone so the chest is open and then downward facing dog. Hold downward facing dog, great. Walk your hands back to your feet then. Great, lift halfway up, inhale. Round your back in this half position. And flat. Now look how high I am. I, I think a lot of times, I have many students who I think um, don't regard the halfway up flat back position enough. You know, everybody wants to touch their toes. And we're going to do this three more times rounding. And look what I'm doing with my hands here on my shins. I'm not pushing my shin bones back. I'm gonna take my fingertips around and just hug my fingertips around the shin bone. And there's your long back, almost lifting the tailbone. So let's tuck the tailbone. Mm -hmm. Rounding, see the flare, the rounding in the upper back, that's okay as long as you can reverse it. Yeah, as long as you can reverse it and lengthen your back. We love it, good, good, good. Walk all the way out to plank. Hey, no chaturangas yet? Nope, not yet. <laughs> and downward facing dog. Great, from the downward facing dog, bend your knees. Well, I wanna do modified push-ups. Modified push-ups, moving into a, 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 a different kind of chaturanga, a different way of getting back to your downward dog. So bear with me here. So what we gotta do is gotta arch the back. Drop your chin in your chest. So this is, uh, some folks call this a modified chaturanga. Look, I wanna push back, back. Look at the forehead bow until the elbows are down. And almost going to a child's pose. See, the arms are going to extend and I'm going to go back to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Three more times that. So what you gotta do is bend your knees, arch your back, look up, inhale. Drop the chin and the chest, exhale. Don't push up, push back until your forehead is down and then unfurl to downward facing dog. See, that's so many different ways. Bend the knees, arch the back, look up. Mm -hmm. Drop chin and chest. Don't push up, push back. And then downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. One more time, bend the knees, arch the back, look up, inhaling. Drop the chin and the chest and just always remember, because I got the microphone on, I can't really put my chest down. Push back until your forehead drops. Mm. And then, Downward facing dog, inhale, exhale, lovely. Okay, now we're gonna jump forward towards your hands. Ready, three, two, one, jump. Straight legs, forward, fold. Look halfway up, high halfway up, high halfway. I'm not pushing my shin bones back. I'm not jamming my legs back. Really what I'm doing is I just want to place my fingertips on my shins there so I realize I'm no longer trying to touch the floor and I just use that awareness of the fingertips there to help my ribs lengthen, to lengthen the spine. Yeah, good, good, good. It's the chair pose. I don't love this pose. <laughs> you love it. Mm, I don't. 
Utkatasana. Three, two, and uh, one. Stand up, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Good. Lift halfway up, inhaling. Now, especially for any new teachers out there following this video, I always want to help you all with the idea of sequencing. And I think uh, many times, uh, use wash and repeat. I like wash and repeat a lot. So I'm just saying we're just gonna do this two more times. Like you don't always have to have, you know, these insane flowing sequences. Let's just do another good chair pose. Find all of the cues. You can do different things with the arms and then stand up and hail and then let your students enjoy a forward fold. They don't have to think about moving on. You already say, well, we already said we're gonna do it three times. So now they know, oh, I just have to do chair pose again. This is gonna allow your students to check in with themselves. Do they wanna back off of the next chair pose or do they want to dig down into something deeper? Do you want to change their focus and get them more focused on, uh, get them more focused on the Mula Bandha or do you want to get them more focused on opening the armpits? There's so much going on here, yes? Stand all the way up inhaling and exhale, forward fold, right. Okay, look halfway up. Look how high I come up for halfway. And then step all the way back to plank pose. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And chaturanga vinyasa, yay, 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 yay. Upward facing dog inhaling. Mm -hmm. Nice upward dogs, firm your legs and downward facing dog. Okay, so here it is again. Why not just do that two more times? You know, why not just do focus on our chaturangas instead of trying to get some broad flowing sequences? So in order to do this, we also get good at that little jump forward. Yes, and bend your knees and jump forward to your hands, straighten out your legs. Look halfway up, enjoy. Give ourselves a moment. Stand all the way up inhaling. Mm -hmm. Exhale, forward fold. Yes, not step, just step out to plank. Look at the hands go forward. Just step out to plank, just step. Good plank, take the breath, chaturanga. Firm your body, firm your thighs, firm the buttocks. Broaden the chest, upward facing dog, the pointed toes, nice upright chest, good, and downward facing dog. So yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe we don't love chaturanga. And jumping forward, we get really good with that. Bending and jumping. Straighten out your legs. Look halfway up, inhaling. Exhale, pressing back down. Great. Stand all the way up. Love it. Exhale, forward fold. Live it. Love it, live it. Step. Just step, just step to plank. I have a lot of veteran students out there. I'm like, hey, you know, sometimes you've been practicing so long. I don't know about you. It's just so good to get to something plain. I drop into a very good chaturanga. And that goes into smooth out, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Okay, see, we, we really haven't done a lot in this class today. Just a lot of arm work, a lot of good structured work. Let's go ahead and lift the right leg, inhale. Yes, so, oh, now you wanna go higher. All right, all right, higher. Five, but how? How to get higher? Four, but how? How exactly does the leg go higher? Three, well, it's not your leg, it's your pelvis anyway. Two and one. Step the right foot forward. Virabhadrasana two. Mm -hmm. You you know it's not the leg. You know it's really changes in the pelvis. Warrior two. Now I said this in another video. I said, hey, you know, you're trying to work with your body, trying to work with the muscles. Use your hands, like, hey, ribs, hey, ribs, and belly. Come on around. Hi, rear leg. Can, Get a little firmed up. I mean, you know, look around the body. Think about what you're asking the bone to do. A little external rotation. Open the inner thigh. You can feel that muscle stretching. You're trying to ask this leg to bend, so give it some encouragement. 
Open the body into the pose. Hold the structures. Three, two, one. Good. Prasarita Paratanasana. Yay. Okay, we've got about 10 more minutes in the class. You know, we're finally just standing up. Let's go to the left side of the mat. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Mm -hmm. Not, we did so much upper body work in a way, but we really haven't done any arm balances today. It's beautiful, wonderful, structured work. Tricep extending, downward dog. Well, the left leg is gonna lift. Step the right foot to the center line. Lift it, don't lift a lot. Then ask yourself, how exactly does a leg get higher? It's really sort of not your leg. It's changes in your pelvis. So the more mobility you have in the pelvis, the more the pelvis can separate itself from the standing leg, the higher the other leg will go. Three, two, one, step forward. Your Vardrasana two. Oh, stand up. Say, say hello. Hello legs, hi. Okay, hi ribs. Mm -hmm. I think that's okay. What's my buttocks doing? Is it tooting back? Can I, can I recommend that it drop? Yes. Sometimes I'm broadening. You just sort of almost. Well, I guess it's kind of like a massage. You're trying to massage your body into the pose. Yes. Yeah, so structure it around. Then take the breath. Three. Breathing, breathing, two, and one. Prasarita, woo, Paratanasana, great, ah, good. Well, turn to the right side of the room, and Chaturanga Vinyasa. Hmm, firm, firm, upward dogging. Let's firm the legs. The chest is really going up. And then downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. What? All right, great. Take a break if you're getting tired. Hey, I wanna give you all a specialty pose. This is a pose I work on with a lot of my students and we got really good at it. And then I stopped doing it and, and then everybody sort of lost it. So this is one hand, right hand, is gonna grab the left foot. Hey, what? Here's my recommendation. Get the left leg up first, bend it in the air. Let go of the right hand, structure your balance. Send your right hand straight up to the sky and say, left foot, find my right hand. You two have to find each other high in the sky. Three, two, one. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Oh, breathe, spin the left arm up, and then rest on the elbows, lizard lunge. Now here it is. I think many, many times, let's go ahead, take your left hand on your left thigh. Go ahead and lean into your right elbow. Yes, I think many, many times we get so involved with the flow, you know, your brain is just thinking you can do these poses, and your body is like, you didn't even give me a bowl of cereal this morning. I mean, like, you know, are you, do you think about me at all? That's the body's position. Do you think about me? I don't want to do these poses. <laughs> Downward facing dog. So you got to say, hey, 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 you know, what's the nature of all of this? What's the nature of things? So check it out. What you got to do is the right leg's going to go up. Yeah. And then you have to establish and structure the pose. Look at what I do with my left hand. They actually just bring it in here because this is the vertical line. You see, and then I'm always sneaking into the, into the central lines, into the vertical lines. And then the hand and the foot have to find each other. With, with You can't see three, you can't see it. It's happening behind you. Two and one, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, twist the right arm up, and we're just gonna drop the left elbow down, place the right hand on the right thigh. I know you're twisted away from me. That's cool. Hang out there, we'll do those poses again. Yes, we will. Right, so this is a lizard lunge, one elbow down. One elbow down. Next time we'll put both elbows down. 
Great, go back to downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. Then bend your knees onto all fours, take a break. How can we practice this pose, or if you wanna modify it, the left leg goes back, yep. Now what most people do to grab the foot is they actually rotate the leg and they come off of the center line, come off of the center line, and then they try to rotate themselves back to the center line. That's a lot. So I'm always working center line. So to do this one, I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm actually gonna put my right hand on my back. And then I'm gonna straighten out the left leg. By focusing on the center line, no rotations. Look how I'm sneaking the hand. And you can actually find your own foot by feeling it, you know, up, up in the air. Changing sides. Remember we were doing downward facing, or a warrior two, we were doing warrior two, and I was like, you know, feel yourself, feel your leg, feel this, feel that, yeah? And so really, I will tell people, your body, I think, would prefer to find itself by, by moving along itself, yes? So again, so what most people do is they go, oh, and they go outside of the center line, and a lot of people will look back like, oh, let me see what's happening. But you know, now you've come into a lot of curving lines. And these curving lines take a lot of energy. And then you ask yourself, you say, oh, now that I've got the foot, let me bring myself back. And then you're falling all over the place. Mm. The beauty, the beauty, the glory of yoga is the concentration inward. Put your hand on your back. Yes? Lift the left leg. Now see, uh, sorry, the right leg. This left hand, you can find your right buttocks. Yes, yes, of course you can. Your right thigh, sure. There's my right thigh, okay. Well now we gotta squeeze the foot in. Follow, oh, there's my knee, follow. Look how your ankle is right there. Oh, three, two, and then the foot will be there. And one, great. Good, downward facing dog. Did you get that? I wanted you to get that. <laughs> Walk your hands back to your feet. Almost done for the day. Stand all the way up, inhaling. We will work that pose once more from downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Good, almost done for the day. Go back to downward facing dog. So now, what did we just learn there? What did we learn? The central line, the central line. The right leg is gonna be lifting first. Mm -hmm. So let's try it. Left hand on your back. Right leg gently lifting. There's my right buttock, yes. The, the foot is coming to my hand. You know your body is put together. Uh, maybe I didn't do this right. Oh no, that's right, left hand, right foot. Three, two, your body is put together like a jigsaw puzzle. You can find yourself along the body. Take that right foot to the outside of the right hand, right arm twisting up, both elbows drop. And you can't see it, right? If you find yourself doing poses like that, if you find yourself looking back for the foot, you're out of pocket. You're out of pocket, don't need your eyes. You can feel, you can feel your body. You should be able to feel the body. Good, back to downward facing dog. Does that make sense to everyone? I mean, you, can, you are yourself, right? I mean, you are in your own body. Your eyes, your eye, can you believe your eyes actually don't need to see your body? Ugh. I hope that makes sense to you all. Think about that for a minute. I'm finding my central lines, right arm just goes over the back. Once your right arm is on your back, here, yep, just point the fingers up and say, left foot, you're, you're designed to fall, literally fall into my hand. Three, and we're gonna take that rotated grip, two, and one, then release, don't fall. Left foot goes to the outside of the left hand, left arm spiral up, inhaling, and then both elbows drop. Now I'm gonna get down here, I'm gonna say that point of wisdom again for today. Your eyes do not need to see you. <laughs> Your eyes are meant to, for seeing all of this. So when we get ready to do stuff behind ourselves, a lot of people trying to look and see what's happening. No, 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 no. Your body already knows that your body is there. 
<laughs> your body knows it. Good, let's come out of this pose, child's pose, pretty much where we started. Knees back, feet back, knees wide. In finishing, I'm just gonna say, are you on Clubhouse yes, yet? Clubhouse drop-in audio app. Get on there. You know what I did on Clubhouse last night is I read chapter 15 from the Bhagavad Gita. And I think I'm gonna try to do that. One chapter wasn't long enough, so I think I'll be maybe doing two chapters. And then once I do the chapters, I'll just open up the mics and ideally talk about the Gita. Of course, that's not what we talked about. Go ahead, take a forward fold. Everybody was like, hi, hi, you know. Hi, who are you? This is me, and you know, what do you do? Where are you living? You know, it came, became a chat. So when you're new to the site, that's cool though. When you're new to the app, Clubhouse app, that's cool. Let's go ahead and stretch the right leg in. People, people, look look how the leg, I'm always telling my body, hey, you're meant to come to me. I should not have to use my hands. Now, of course, we do eventually use the hands. And today I'm gonna use the entire arm and go around the lower part of the leg. And now treat this leg like a person I love and I've missed them for so long. I've missed you for so long. Where have you been, girl? <laughs> and take a forward fold. Almost done for the day. Almost done for the day. <sighs> Sitting up. Yeah. It's going to be the left leg. It's going to come up. So instead of all the time grabbing for the foot. Yes. First thing we realize, this is a straight leg. And this leg, like, stay there. It's going to burn. Oh, okay. It burns. Right, and then I'm gonna a little bit get on the back of my sit bones. That's the other thing. I'm a little bit on the back of my sit bones. I guide the leg in closer, get my arms around the low part of the leg, and then just treat it like, oh, hey, where have you been? My, my, you know, when you hug a person, everybody's kind of like, hey, oh, right? Do those kind of movements. Do those kinds of things. You're dealing with your own body. Eventually, you will get clo closer. The more I practice yoga, obviously, clearly, just goes without saying, it's not stretching. You see many students, I'm sorry, many teachers will remind us of that. It's not stretching. But the more you practice it, uh, you start to realize like, oh, no, it's, it's not stretching. <laughs> Good. Now, maybe you'll roll back onto your back and get yourself ready for some finishing poses because that's what you want to do with maybe 10 more minutes. I'm going to sit up and close the class out. There are quite a few folks online talking about the use of the word namaste to end and close classes. I love the dialogue. What feels appropriate for people who are ethnically Indian or South Asian, what feels appropriate. We've been going to yoga studios for so long, so it's nice to change it around. We'll change things around a little bit. So, we'll close the class, still bringing the hands together in prayer. Remind people, namaste means I bow to you. I bow to something greater than myself. I'm aware. Nam. Nam. Hands together in prayer, namaste. When we come up in class, isn't over. We're still here. Now we close the class. I see and recognize the light in you. Thank you all so very much for joining me for class today. I will see you again soon. Remember, Wednesday morning, 7 a.m., Awakening the Force morning yoga classes, Saturdays, 12 noon, yes, Flow Yoga Mob. These are all Pacific Standard Times, Pacific Daylight Time, yes. I do have classes on Instagram. Remember, on Instagram, I'm Cecily underscore Yogi. You can find tutorials and memes, inspirations and stories and reels. You can find all of that activity there. And if you do find me on Clubhouse, I am Yogi Cecily. And I thank you already for your donations to Venmo.com slash Cecily dash guest. See you soon.